Okay, this is the um, banner for my exhibition. It's called uh, Frank Andrews Presents Indian Arcade, The Last Great Circus. Here's the uh, structure itself. There's um, a large tent structure. It's being supported by some ropes. And um, uh, it's uh, plastic with um, acrylic paint on the uh, outside. Here's my photo. Bio. my artist statement so I'm based on cultural identity and I uh, really wanted um, to have like a, an emotional sort of impact by uh, um, including parts of my my own um, biography within some of the work so I mean that's just kind of a given like Here's the uh, interior. Well, let me uh, back up. There's uh, the lights on the inside. Very, um, it's uh, circus-esque, circus motif. This uh, painting was, um, I was inspired by uh, the um, lack of um, matrilineal societies um, within um, native culture and how they were sort of taken out do uh, through a uh, colonization and like how uh, through um, um, the extinction of um, most matrilineal societies in um, native uh, native culture like the uh, actual decision makers you know were women women primarily and that was kind of the uh, the whole idea um, so I made this uh, tobacco ad um, just based on like how uh, Native um, Native Americans were sort of expo you know exploited like the tobacco chewy or the tobacco store Indian and red man tobacco and whatnot. So I mean this sort of my take on it, and I don't really endorse or condone. Um, the use of tobacco, that's why I put the uh, Surgeon General's warning. And then, uh, this is a, uh, I don't know, they're putting this all over the, the uh, posters and everything, promoting it, because I guess it's like the most native uh, painting that I have. Um, I was just compelled to make this because uh, most um, powers that I've been to when I was growing up, I mean, people danced because they wanted to dance and it wasn't for a prize or, I mean, it's so like overblown and exploited now that there isn't really a uh, the, the, the solidified reason like why people um, go to these except for just like the capitalist uh, ideology so I mean he has a bustle that's made out of dollar bills so I mean it's just kind of just like you have to spend money to make money and that's just kind of how it is in that in that whole uh, lifestyle I guess you could say Moving around to this painting, this is uh, the legend 
of Spider Woman. And it was just sort of my interpretation of um, uh, the Dene uh, creation story. Yes, Spider Woman um, used her her uh, web and uh, wove the universe, and this is sort of like the birth of the universe in this uh, painting, which is just like acrylic washes. Um, I've been told that this looks like storm, and it probably does look like storm, but I don't know. But yeah, that was just um, the that was just the idea behind this this painting, and I wanted just to reflect. Um, how within um, uh, native cultures like uh, things sort of just get like uh, they get sort of um, overblown with like they get overblown with um, messages of uh, kind of like taboo and you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. There's there's rules that are set, but they're not like in stone or anything. But I mean, people have just been exploiting, I mean, the real religion and culture, you know, for centuries. And I mean, I kind of just wanted to put a, uh, a different twist on the actual story and, um, idea of what spider woman uh, represented and to kind of like put it in a, a different context where there wasn't um, just like a completely serious note but it tells all that needs to be told within I mean uh, a, uh, a sort of a more of a pop art perspective so that's kind of like what I was getting at with this and all of these all of these um, uh, circus banners were all created um, based upon um, the uh, Barnum and Bailey uh, Ringling Brothers circus uh, banners that were that they traveled with, I mean, all over America. And I mean, they had, you know, just like, like two headed cow or bearded lady. And, but that was just kind of like the whole uh, motif that I was going for is kind of like a, like a freak show, trans mundane curiosity um, arcade. And that's, I mean, that was just, Hopefully, I mean, it's successful in that regard. Here's Mary. Gotta go. I'll close them, just lock them. <clears throat> but this is a uh, creature of the Americas. Um, sort of a Okay. And uh, it's kind of just how I felt about um, sort of being, living like on a reservation and living on, living in the, uh, uh, the city, you know, and being raised on a reservation by my grandparents and um, sort of like not being native enough because I, I spoke funny to the Indian kids when I was younger just because I, I didn't talk like them. I didn't talk like how they how they had, you know, spoke with their accent and everything. And I'd go into the, you know, the city and white kids and Mexican kids would ask, you know, why I talked funny. And it was because I had a native accent, I guess. But, you know, I guess this one side is just, it's, 
seemingly better than the other, but I don't know. I tried to just ham up the uh, the fact that this guy was just like a savage, but um, I uh, really just I don't know. Wanted to just reflect that. That was kind of just the whole idea. Um, but yeah, just all on unstretched canvas, the acrylic. And uh, I mean, that's what they had back then. I was just kind of using what they used back then. And I mean, just to get everything all together. Uh, and just to have it just sort of like ready made and ready to display. And I mean, um, I don't know. There's a lot of things I would have done over. But like, this is kind of just like the like the, one of my first exhibitions. So I mean, it's not going to be perfect. Nothing's perfect. This is the wild jackalope. Um, it's funny because the whole idea of having a, a, a jackalope within um, New Mexican culture is like this idea that they're selling just like for touristy bullshit. I mean. There's, that's the only reason why this exists is just it's just all right well we gotta have a creature that you know it's cute but scary and mythical and it's just like the whole Indian thing with dream catchers and headdresses I mean it's just a part of that it's a part of the problem what I mean I mean but people enjoyed it. I don't know. It, I don't. I don't really have a whole. I don't hate the idea of a jackalope existing, but it's just. I mean, it being part of the problem of getting stories and lies, you know, mixed up. It's kind of like got to try, got to draw the line somewhere. And then last but not least, I got this box that I created so it's supposed to be like a carnival game it's called how Indian are you have this lock and these keys so yeah got a bunch of keys on here I know these questions I've gotten throughout my lifetime and I just wanted to uh, sort of show I mean like that this is kind of like what I deal I dealt with when I was you know since I've been a uh, you know like since I've been alive What's your Indian name? I was gonna write more questions on it, but I mean, I don't know if it's necessary at this point, but this is supposed to be a, a large game and there's supposed to be stuff inside and I'm supposed to make prizes, but I mean, with all this, I mean, it's just, uh, there's just a lot of extra work that I don't know if I really needed it to be done. <clears throat> but overall I mean completing this all myself I think that in some sense is it in some sense it was successful but I would do it all over again if I had the chance <sighs> but but yeah that's it I mean, that's it and um But that's it. Um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, um, walkthrough. And uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta show you the uh, the outside and the back too. There's the top structure, still suspended. I'm gonna take all this down tomorrow.